Today I'm going to make maple apple walnut cake. The first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you need to grease a 9 by 13 pan. Here are the dry ingredients for my recipe. In my bowl I have flour, baking soda, salt, and apple pie spice. So these are the dry ingredients. I'm going to switch these out and put my other bowl here. And in this bowl I have my wet ingredients. I have my regular white sugar, brown sugar, applesauce, large eggs, and maple extract in my bowl here. And now I'm going to take this to the mixer and I'm going to mix this really well and then I'll bring you back for the next step. Okay, I combined my wet ingredients and my dry ingredients and here is the base for the cake. Now the next steps I'm going to do are going to be done by hand. So we're going to stir in the following. We're going to stir in a half a cup of golden raisins and dark raisins to the wet mixture. Then we're going to uh, add a uh, four cups of diced apples. Now I'm using these uh, Crunch Pack brand organic apple slices. Okay, um, because I don't want to peel any apples. If you want to peel apples and dice them, go ahead. But this is much easier. And I'm using a combination of the crunchy and sweet. Okay, so that's what I have here. Four cups. Okay, I'm going to dump that in there. Make sure get that all in there. And then the last uh, ingredient, you're going to add a cup of diced walnuts. Sorry for the lighting, it's just really bad in my kitchen today. Okay, then you're just going to take a spoon or a spatula, and just gently fold this all together so it's well combined. I've never made a um, cake with maple extract in it before, so this is a new one for me. But with drew my attention to this recipe was all the delicious apples and raisins and walnuts and that just sounded like the perfect fall cake to make for bake day. So that's what I'm doing. I haven't done a bake video since summertime because I don't uh, use my oven in the summer. So now it's fall. The weather is cooling down. And I got the bug to cook, cook and bake now. I made a pot roast sundae with carrots and potatoes. It was delicious. I've been eating that. And now, this delicious maple walnut apple cake. Okay, so we did that part there. Or I should say I did. Again, I apologize for the terrible lighting. I'm really upset about that. But I'm going to carry on. So let me get my 9 by 13 baker. Here it is. Okay. Now we're just going to, whew, this is heavy. We're just now going to pour this thick batter. Into our 9 by 13. I found this recipe on Pinterest, in case you're interested. Just type in maple apple walnut cake and it'll take you right to it. <clears throat> there we go. And you want to generously spread it out. Hi Scruff, where are you going mommy? Huh? You want to go outside again? You just went outside. Yeah, and there's something out there you want. Oh, it smells so delicious already. Look at that. Look at all those apples. Oh my goodness. I hope this comes out good. <laughs> you know, I get kind of nervous trying a new recipe for the first time, especially on camera. 
And it does have a delicious uh, maple frosting that I will be putting on here after the cake is baked. Okay, so there you go, you get the idea. So here it is, here's my maple apple walnut cake. It's gonna go into the 350 degree oven for 50 to 55 minutes. And again, with all ovens, they all set up differently. I'm gonna start checking mine after 30 minutes and then I have to completely cool it and then I will come back and uh, we will uh, make the frosting and we will frost the cake. So please come back. Okay, I'm back and here is my baked maple apple walnut cake. It came out beautiful. You can see all the beautiful apples and raisins peeking through and I was right, my cake only took uh, 35 minutes to bake in my oven and the recipe said 50 to 55 minutes so it was way off so that's why I'm telling you please check your cake after 30 minutes and also I could smell it you can usually tell the cake is baking or almost done when you can start to smell it so anyway here is my completed cake nice and cooled because we're going to uh, do the frosting part so you have to make sure that the cake is completely cool okay so I'm gonna move this out of the way. Hold on just a second. And I'm gonna show you the frosting. I was gonna go ahead and make it and then show you, but just to save time, this is the um, frosting for the cake. And all this is is um, salted butter, softened cream cheese, maple extract, brown sugar, powdered sugar, apple pie spice and heavy whipping cream all combined okay so there's the frosting and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch back out and I'm going to frost the cake for you I don't want to make this too long of a video and I'm gonna use my cute little Halloween spatula and I'm going to go ahead and start scraping out some of this delicious frosting plopping it on there actually and use whatever uh, utensil you like to frost your cake oh I can just see the speckles of the apple pie spice coming through here okay I made this cake early in the morning because to allow it time to cool so I can then frost it and be done uh, early in the day. I'm not a good froster as you can tell and I just cover up the cake with it. That's all I'm doing. Nothing fancy. You can be fancy as you like. And uh, this does make quite a bit of frosting. Looks like I'm going to have more than enough. You can never have too much frosting. Okay. Well, we're finally in October. It's already October 3rd. And before you know it, Halloween will be upon us. And then after that, it's a total blur. Thanksgiving and oh, Christmas. Luckily, I started Christmas shopping back in July. So I got a lot done already. Okay, so there we go. Okay, let me put some more over here. Hoping you all are having a great week so far. Okay, there it is. There's the frosting. Now the only thing it did not specify was whether I have to refrigerate it, but I think I'm going to put it in the refrigerator just for a little bit because I wanted to make sure it's set up a little bit. So I will do that.
Also, I want to say a quick hello to um, Carlise of Carlise Spices. I just want you to know, Carla, that my thoughts are with you and your family right now. I won't say why over the uh, video here because I don't know if you want me to mention it or not. But uh, Carla's one of my beautiful lady friends on YouTube. I consider her and her family my family. And um, she's been really wonderful to me. And uh, I love her and her family very much. So if you don't know who Carly Spices is, check out her channel. She's an excellent cook. She's an ex excellent mentor as far as cooking. And she has her own line of spices. She has rubs and spices. And they're delicious. Okay, so there's my uh, frosting, and then it's just to top here with some additional walnuts. So I just cut up some fine walnuts here. You can leave these out, that's optional. Okay, here's a slice of the maple apple walnut cake. I cut a big exaggerated piece so you can see. You can see inside there. All the delicious apples and walnuts and golden and dark raisins with the maple frosting. And I'm going to take a taste for you. My husband tried it already. He said it's delicious. Here you go, up close. And here I go. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Look at the apples spilling out of there. This cake is delicious. And I'm not saying that because I made it. Oh my gosh. This is the perfect cake for fall. Oh my goodness. I can really taste the maple extract. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. I need some milk with this really bad. And like I said, it's just chunk full of raisins and nuts and apples after apple. It's really good. Thumbs up. 10 out of a 10 for me. So anyway, this is Lila. I hope you enjoyed my maple apple walnut cake for bake day. And uh, I am going to keep this in the refrigerator. And um, I want to say thank you for watching me today on bake day. And I'll see you on the next bake day. Bye-bye.